In this lecture, we are going to see why always the first search result doesn't mingle with the factors that we see from second to the last one. Let's see the uniqueness of the number one search result. You could have seen that the first search result has got a lesser percentage of H1, H2 and Mentor Description existence. But still, it ranks first, isn't it? This is because of the term called brand factor. You can also refer it to domain SEO visibility. For example, when a similar content is posted by a high authority website and a new website, Google gives the higher ranking for the higher authority website. Higher authority refers to the better domain SEO visibility. Actually, what is this domain SEO visibility? That's what you are a bit confused now, isn't it? Let me explain to you with an example. In this Google search page, I have searched for the keyword WordPress. The first organic search result belongs to the domain WordPress.org. Org. The second result is also from wordpress.org. Only the tenth result is from siteground.com. So even if siteground.com optimizes its page or post for WordPress website or WordPress keyword, the chances of appearing in the first search result is very very less. This is because of domain SEO visibility score of the domain wordpress.org. This score can be easily measured and is available in several tools such as search metrics shoot. Here I have searched for wordpress.com and you can see that the SEO visibility score of wordpress.com is around 308,000 whereas for wordpress.org the score is 86000 but the score for siteground.com is just around 17000 that's why even if siteground.com optimizes its page for the keyword wordpress website it has very 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 lesser chance to appear in first search result compared to wordpress.org so now, you could have understood that the importance of domain SEO visibility is much more higher than optimizing your page for a popular keyword. Always, the first Google search result is an exception and it will not follow our pattern of research. So let's analyze from the second search result to the last one. Here. The second search result has got a score of around 11 million whereas the domain SEO visibility score for the last search result is somewhere around 2 million. That's why if you want to buy a domain name, don't look for the keyword. Instead, choose a unique or catchy name and develop it as your own brand name so that the people can remember and search for the direct domain name in Google search. So, to increase domain SEO visibility, the domain should have got two important things. One, backlinks from high authority domains. Two, search volume of a domain name or brand popularity. Let me demonstrate the relationship between backlinks and domain SEO visibility briefly with an example as we have dealt with backlinks in detail in a separate section. Now let's take wordpress.com. It has got so many authoritative links from several websites such as Facebook, Pinterest, Google Plus and several other websites too. We can easily see that using Open Site Explorer. This domain authority score is same as the SEO visibility score 
by search metrics whereas most names it as domain authority and that domain authority for wordpress.com is 93 out of 100 this means it has got so many established links from so many authoritative domains here you can see that wordpress.com has got 185 million links from several other authoritative root domains total number of unique linking domains is 1.2 million which is not an easy task to attain that's why wordpress has got the higher domain authority or domain seo visibility in the next lecture let's see the relationship between domain seo visibility and search volume of domain name in detail